Fields with Fields of Profit, and in today's video I'm going to be diving into a software called Flipmine, which is a software that allows you to flip from eBay to Amazon, and I use this pretty much every day. I find, uh, you know, three to five leads that make me anywhere upwards of $100 uh, pretty quickly every day. Uh, it's I use it to flip books, but you can also use it to flip new products. So in today's video, I'm going to be diving into my workflow for how I use Flipmine to find those leads quickly, and then get on to something else, uh, make that money quick, and then wait till the leads refresh the next day. Uh, this software is $40 a month, and if you want to go ahead and try it out, go ahead and use the link down below for a free trial, and that's also going to help out the channel. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to say that only about 20% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the button down below. It's free, helps me out a ton. You can always unsubscribe. Thanks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to flipmine.com or you can click the link down below to go ahead and get into Flipmine. You're just going to make an account real quick and then once you go ahead and get signed in, this is what the initial interface is going to look like. You've got the ability to link it up with your Amazon Seller Central account, which is a new feature. It's really cool. You can see down here it's saying that it's detected opportunities that you're gated in, but we'll get into that later. Uh, so you can see it's got... You, this little quick quick view menu here for everything. Uh, it's got the eBay picture, the Amazon title, Amazon title, sales rank, eBay price, ROI, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is use these filters up here to go ahead and niche down into whatever you want to get into flipping. For me, I like to do books. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this filter that I have right here. Uh, it's got a couple of different things to look out for. Uh, I like to do this one for the FBA to FBM price difference. Uh, this helps get rid of a lot of outliers where softwares like Zen Arbitrage and then those softwares, uh, you'll get some books where it's like a $100 FBA offer and a $10 FBM offer. A reasonable consumer is never going to pay a $90 premium. Uh, it's just probably not going to happen. Uh, you can filter categories. I like to do books. Um, I personally think that doing new flips from eBay is a little risky for me, but I know some people who do it and make good money doing it. So if that's what you want to get into, uh, I do condition used, uh, used sellers greater than 10. That's just going to help, uh, make sure that there's a little bit of volume there. I filter for ROI greater than 50%. That's just personal preference. And then also I search for sales rank less than 500. That's going to make sure that's got reasonable sales velocity in the books category. Another thing you're going to want to look out for is up here in settings. You can go and check out this uh, spotlight mode. Spotlight mode is uh, it kind of is more beginner friendly. So if you're just starting out, you might want to try out spotlight mode. It helps filter out a bunch of mismatches or so. I keep it off just because you know I'm, I know what I'm looking for and you probably do too. But if you're just getting out started, you might want to enable that. Uh, there's uh, automatically check gated. That's that new feature where you can just press the remove button at the bottom and get rid of the gated books. That way you don't have to see those books that you missed out on just because you can't sell on Amazon. Uh, plus it just makes you source faster. Uh, and then there's also the selling price type so you can do lowest offer or lowest FBA I usually do lowest offer just to make sure that it's comparing to uh, you really want to just find those good flips where someone is putting it on eBay for way too cheap that's how I use this tool I spend 10 15 minutes a day finding the ones where someone maybe honestly mispriced the book you get it and then you're able to just sell that on Amazon but you can also go off the FBA price uh, if you're looking into textbooks and stuff that would maybe help too where the FBA price is going to bump way more than merchant will during textbook season as students need those books faster. Uh, so we're just going to leave this as lowest offer. I have messed around with FBA, but you can play around with those settings as you want. So we're just going to go ahead and go back into Flipmine. I'm going to pull up this, this filter set here, and we're going to see what we can find just off the rip right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click remove just to remove that gated book. Uh, the second thing, I'm going to just check out this right here. It looks like this, these covers probably don't match. Let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, the covers don't match, so we're just going to move on. Uh, we've got Great Gatsby graphic novel. Uh, price bumped right there. We're going to go to this one right here. We've got a price bump here. Um, we've got this one. Let's see. Let's find a textbook real quick. We've got building structures here. So this one is 1728 acceptable, uh, but we'll see how the Keepa looks. Uh, the Keepa looks like the price is pretty consistently around $40. So even if you're only able to sell this as merchant fulfilled because maybe it's really beat up and you're just going to go ahead and merchant fulfill that so that you don't sell a beat up book to a prime customer, uh, we're going to go ahead and run the calculations here. I'm just going to use this Amazon FBA calculator. Uh, it's just a, it's a free little Chrome extension here. I use it all the time. So let's say we have to merchant fulfill it for, let's say $40 and it's going to cost us 18 and then it's going to cost us $4 to ship that. 
So that's going to be uh, about a little over 50% ROI, 25% margin on this book. Not too bad. Um, and then also if we're able to FBA this, it's probably going to go right up here. Uh, with this textbook pattern right here, you can see it sells really fast in January, sells really fast in August, September, right when students are starting back. So let's say we can sell this for 45 prime. It's going to cost us 18. That's going to be a 1289 profit. So that's a pretty good one right here, right off the bat. Um, we're going to check the, this description, make sure it doesn't say anything really bad about it. It just blanket acceptable con condition. So I would go ahead and buy this book. Worst case, we'll just put it on Merchant Field and make 10 bucks with it. So let's go ahead and check out uh, a couple more here. We've got this one. We've got it. Oh, it looks like it sold out for 440. But if you had got on this in time, this book buying it for 440, uh, and it hasn't sold for less than like 20 bucks basically ever. Right now, let's say we could pretty safely sell it for 45. Honestly, this would have been a really good find if you got here in time. So 45, you're paying 440 for it. This would have been a really good flip. Uh, about 27 profit, 60% margin on that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out, see if we can find a couple more here. We've got this Logic Bible. Uh, again, sold out already, but if you had been able to get on it, buying it for six, selling it up here at this uh, probably 30 to $40 right here, um, that's going to be a good flip too. And then we're going to also, you're able to use this tool to do video games, which is something I do from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my video game filters here. Uh, again, ROI greater than four. Use sellers greater than four, that's gonna help you get some real velocity. I stay under 9,000 in video games, and then that's pretty much it. You're just gonna go ahead and check through here. Uh, a lot of these are gonna be mismatches, but you can kinda use these pictures to help you get through them way faster. So you can see this one says, uh, case and bonus disc, where this is the whole game. Uh, we've got, this is a Mamba edition, this is standard edition. So these pictures are really gonna help you let, get through these way faster. Um, what do we got here? It looks like we got a game. We got Race with Ryan here, uh, Xbox One, that's PS4, but maybe we can find this from, that's interesting, it says PS4, but it's Xbox, um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this for now, um, let's see if we can find another lead here, this one is about $9, it's going for $24.48 plus shipping, we'll see what the Keepa looks like. Looks like it's selling really fast right now for Christmas, but it's pretty consistently been around here. You can see the new FBA price has been 27 according to the Keepa, so it's probably not going to sell above that. But let's say we can sell it for 25 prime, since the low price right now is 23 merchant. So if you're selling it for 25 and we're getting it for, it was 8, I think, it's going to be 8.93 profit. Let's go ahead and check, make sure that was right. Oh, it's going to be actually 9, but still that's going to be a pretty good flip here. Uh, 793 and if this keep a chart holds out we could actually get even more for it and just to prove to you guys that I've really am been using this tool and making some good money with it uh, I went ahead and took out the titles here but this is the spreadsheet that I give to my lister um, and as you can see this is uh, November 21st this is all the books that I bought since the 21st uh, and this is less than usual I've been taking finals and been busy with school but since the 21st which was uh, about a month ago I've spent um, let's see Let's do equals sum, and then we'll grab all these right here to see what we spent. Um, we've spent about eight, $820. Um, usually the ROI on these is, I usually double the money on this, um, but let's say worst case, it's I only turn it into 1.5. That's still gonna be $400 profit over the last month using this tool that only costs $40. So that's a pretty good ROI. Um, it's really easy to get through these leads 10, 15 minutes a day. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, about $400 profit over the last month. And then my lister just goes in here when the books arrive, they, she does a title search and matches the buy cost. Uh, it's a pretty simple method there. Uh, she'll condition on that kind of stuff, but yeah, uh, about four to $800 profit on not that much time every day for the last month. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something in this video. Uh, if you do want to go ahead and check out Flipmine, again, use the link down below. That helps the channel out, and it's going to get you a free trial on the software. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Helps me out with the algorithm. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments about the software, go ahead and drop them down below. And I also am in contact with the developer of the software, so if you have a good idea, let's talk about it, and maybe we can get it implemented into the software, make it better for everybody. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. Thanks, guys.